Hi everyone, it's Ange from Luna Creates. Uh, this is going to be the week three video for the Trick or Treat Treasure Collaboration hosted by Debbie from Project 39 Design. And for week three, we're supposed to make a junk journal or a journal. So I made a little um, traveler's notebook junk journal here. And this was inspired by um, a, a Paige Evans. She made one with uh, a Frank Garcia's uh, collection. I don't remember which one, but anyways, it inspired me to make one. And I'm, I think it really turned out super cute. I really love all the trims that I added in here and everything. So the collection that I used, because I still have quite a bit of it, is uh, the Frank Garcia 31. Now, I don't remember what year this came out of. Came out, doesn't say. But anyways, I still have quite a few sheets on the 12 by 12. I have a full 12 by 12. I still have some leftover of the 8x8, as you can see. And I also still have some ephemera packs and stickers in here that uh, I just remembered I had. So yeah, I even keep the packaging because, you know, packaging is cute with the little pumpkins. And uh, these flowers were gifted to me and I actually used them on the cover. So we're just going to do a quick flip through of this traveler's notebook. Sorry for the loud noise there. Just going to move that aside. So yeah, I just really had a lot of fun and it came together fairly quickly because those papers are double sided. So that's also nice as well. So here is the cover. I used an acetate sheet. This came from a paper pad from Michaels a couple of years ago. So uh, Paige Evans used an acetate sheet on hers, or maybe a vellum, I can't remember. So I thought, why not use the acetate just to add some more interest. I added a charm dangle here that I created hmm, when I was sorting through my beads earlier in the year. I was making some dangles to have on hand, and I just used my crocodile to put an eyelet there, and uh, thought it looked cute to hang a dangle there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I used some ephemera pieces here, some of this uh, velvety ribbon from Michaels, this pom pom trim from the Dollar Tree, and these cute little flowers that I received from a swap. And I used some ephemera pieces, some crepe paper, and this has an elastic band that just comes off. But you got to kind of be a little careful. And on this elastic band, <coughs> excuse me, I just added some beads to it. Uh, I had this little ghosty charm from Michaels, this boo charm from Tim Holtz, and I added a black button. So it's just a simple closure. So I'm just going to try to zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So yeah, the papers, like I said, they were double-sided, so super easy. It was 8x8 eight eight that I cut the papers down to, and then I added um, off sizes in here, too, to give it some interest. So here's the... Uh, oh my goodness, excuse me. Sorry, I guess I need a cup of coffee. Um, the pumpkin page, I just love these jack-o'-lanterns with the... Witch's hat on there. I add some ephemera pieces there. Here I added a tuck spot with a cut apart. And then I had some off cuts in, in my stash, so I just thought I added it in there. Here's a sheet with a pom-pom trim. This has a little flip up here, and I use ephemera pieces as tabs. Look at that pumpkin so cute this is just a flip out and this I made it as a flip out like this and oopsies like that I guess I added a little bit too much glue on that one added some of the velvet um, 
ribbon. I just cut it in half and I didn't care that it's not straight because it, it went with the uh, Halloween. I added a pin here with some beads, some ephemera pieces. Here is a paper clip that I hot glued a cabbage on to the back. There's a femur piece here to show that that flips out. Here's a cut apart, flips up. Hey, this paper collection is so pretty. This trim here I had in my stash forever. It I bought it off of AliExpress years ago. So I thought it would be cute to add it here. Here's a paper clip with a little pumpkin charm. This charm came from uh, Michael's. Now we're in the center of the Traveler's Notebook and this flips open. Cute, right? Like, oh, just love this collection. You know, that's why I have two pads of it. <laughs> this little ghosty is super cute. Even this cut apart is really cute too. Here's uh, the other half of the ribbon and I added one of those stitch marker pins here just for interest. This I found at the Dollar Tree, these stitch marker pins. Here's a little tuck spot here. Another flip out. I added some washi tape here and I just clustered some cut up, uh, die cuts there. I had this little pom-pom uh, paper clip in my stash and I thought it matched perfectly with this collection, so I added it there. Some black and white pom-pom trim. I don't know where I got this from. Maybe Home Sense? I can't remember. This flips open. This flips up. More of that ruffle trim. I love the vintage images in this collection as well. It just, it's just so cute. This flips open like so. And I didn't care that there's that there. It's a junk journal. <laughs> so I, I just like the, the, um, the pattern paper strip there. So it, I'm okay with that. And then here is the pumpkin page and the back cover of the Traveler's Notebook. So yeah, this is just a lot of fun to make. I it came together so quickly and especially that I made some dangles already um just to embellish it it came together quick too so yeah this is my week three uh junk journal um is the phrase for this week uh, so I hope this inspired you to make your own and please go see a bunch of the other YouTubers that are involved in, in this trick, trick or treat treasure collaboration. I will link all their videos down below. We're here to inspire and try to use up your Halloween stash. And I am so happy that Debbie asked me to join this collaboration because it got me going. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, please considering in doing so. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.